Grano. And Daniel's taking on a face he knows only too well. Across the table, his former girlfriend, Evelyn Ng. At the GQ pairings party presented by Nine, Negrano almost didn't believe his eyes when he realized the name he'd drawn. Oh, are you sh no. Are you serious? This was completely random. Wait till he reads it. Evelyn Ng. <laughs> Evelyn, how's it feel? Um, I think I can hang it. No more strategy talk. You understand? Uh, I understand, yeah. How do you play against your ex-girlfriend? That might be difficult. They were an unusual-looking couple anyway, weren't they, Matt? Sort of like the Sonny and Cher of Canada. <laughs> uh, I got you, babe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> it was so obvious. That one, you were like, yeah, I don't know, maybe 200, I'll call. <laughs> All right. Yeah, right, like that, that made a difference. <laughs> you have a read. It was not the eyes. It wasn't? It was the chips? Was Evelyn feels now. that uh, Daniel has a read on her. It's a little bit inside her head. She's trying to figure out what is it. Is it her eyes? Is it the way she handles the chips? Queen nine, Daniel raises to a thousand. King seven for Evelyn Ng. And she calls. Flop is king, six, queen, a pair for both players. Right, Evelyn's got the better pair, a pair of kings. Just checks. Daniel bets a thousand. Evelyn calls. Evelyn just calls, which shows me she's a little intimidated. A deuce on the turn. That's a deuce of clubs. Now that. Gives Evelyn a flush draw and a pair of kings. They both check. Rivers of Jack of Diamonds. Evelyn has not bet out once in this pot. She bets 2,200 here. And Daniel thought he had this hand figured out. He was not expecting Evelyn to bet 2,200 there. He's kind of surprised. In the world is this? Daniel feels he's supposed to figure out what Evelyn has, and right now he has no idea what she has. Did you make a flush? No. That seems like a defensive bet, maybe. I don't know, I don't know why I'm asking you. You're not going to tell me, are you? It's too cheap. I got to call it. Huh? So Daniel decides to call, and Evelyn Ng takes down the pot. Queen. Daniel's a little disappointed. He yeah. paid Evelyn off. Your table now. Daniel Negranu and Evelyn Ng. You gonna trash talk me at all? I was gonna do a lot of trash talking, but it's hard to trash talk you. You might beat me up. Yeah, this is an intriguing matchup, and not just because both players are extremely talented. Negranu and Ng have a long history together. Evelyn and I, we met in a pool hall when we were 17 years old. I was 17, she was 16, and we were little pool hustlers. We dated for about a week. And then um, after he dumped me, we didn't see each other for quite a while. And then about a year and a half later, we met again, and we were, this time we were playing poker. He really taught me the value of friendly competition, that you can be friends with somebody, but at the poker table, you're out there to win. The thing that's brutal is two days ago, we just had dinner, and I was giving her all the strategy advice and tips. <laughs> it's like, now it's gonna, it's gonna bite me in the butt. That was a very interesting story. Only thing that didn't make sense to me is he dumped her? Is that what she said? Yeah, I caught that part too. She said he dumped her, right? It struck me as well. 7 4 suited, Ing raises the 1200. And on suited Jack 9, Daniel will call. Evelyn showing a little spirit here, raising with the 7 4 diamonds. Boy, an interesting flop. 4-3, Jack, two diamonds. Very interesting. Gives Evelyn a flush draw and a pair of fours. And Daniel Negrano's got top pair jacks. Evelyn has a sizable chip lead here. And after Daniel checks, she bets 1,600. Now, Daniel's really thinking about what to do here. He's got a lot of different options. He moves all in on top pair. And that's one of them. He moved all in. 
And as you can see, it's almost an even percentage. If Evelyn would call, she'd be even money to knock Daniel out of the tournament. I'll tell you what you should have done after you do what you do. Okay, I promise I'll give you the on honest answer. Whatever you do, I'll tell you what you should have done. I know what the right play is with your hand. You've got like king four diamonds or something, right? No? Smaller? Oh boy, that's not in her head, is it? That's unbelievable. She's got to know it, too. Seven four diamonds. No way. You should have called. Really? Yeah. You had, you had too many outs. I had a jack, but you should have called. You got to gamble. You would have, you would have won. If, I mean, if, what, what came? Can we see? <laughs> you would have made two pair. I would have. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's legal? No, rabbit hunting. <laughs> it was a deuce of spades and a seven of spades. Really? Well, Daniel read Evelyn's hand so I'm well saying, that she was afraid to call. I? Now he's telling her she would have won yeah, the pot and knocked him out. Table. Outback, I'm going to be the poster boy for Outback Steakhouse. What? I always feels good when you tell a joke and somebody says, what? <laughs> <laughs> Negrano via the Outback pocket cam with suited 7-5. He calls. You sound like you have experience with that. Yes. <laughs> Been on a lot of dates and try to be funny. Got a lot of watts. <laughs> Evelyn Ng raises to 2100 on Queen Jack off suit. And Daniel calls with a 7-5 of clubs. Flop comes 10 Jack 4, a couple of clubs for Daniel. And Evelyn is flop top pair. I'm sure she would prefer if there weren't two suited cards out there. And bets 2600 on it. Now, Daniel has his flush draw, but Evelyn raised pre-flop, and there's a possibility that Evelyn might have two higher clubs. It's one of the things Daniel has to ponder in this hand as he decides what to do. He will call. On the turn, and Daniel hits his flush with the six of clubs. From Daniel's look there, I think he's supremely confident that Evelyn doesn't have a flush. Looks like Evelyn's gonna bet here. She took the lead in his hand. She's got a three to two chip lead. She's not slowing down. She's betting a pair of jacks, but she's picked a bad time. And Negrano has moved all in. And Evelyn gives a sly smile like I should have known it. 71 more. 71 more. It's a $7,100 raise, which puts Daniel all in. Looks like Evelyn's thinking about calling here. She would have to feel that Daniel's on a draw. He could have a hand like Queen King with a Queen or King of Clubs, so he'd have an open end straight draw. Oh, uh, she's going to call him. She's going to call. This is going to be costly hand for Evelyn Ng. Daniel has made Evelyn believe that he's capable of bluffing here. I'm hoping she doesn't have a club. Daniel shows seven. You don't have a club. Please not have a club. That's good news. Well, she, you got to show him, right? Turn him up. Turn him up. Evelyn tried to muck her hand because she couldn't win, and Daniel has made her turn him up. Retrieve her cards and turn them up. That usually isn't done. Go ahead and put up the river card if you would as a formality. Really don't ask somebody to muck their hand to show them. Daniel's acting real cutesy, but Evelyn was embarrassed that she called in that situation. I would have called with your hand, too. You would have? Yes. Yeah. You put too much money in already. Right. Maybe in Parcheesi, but not You could do it at that point. <laughs> Just in case I was on a drawing hand or something. Well, they got there, but... Grano and Evelyn Ng, where Daniel's attempted tutorial continues, only it seems to be working now as he's developed a 7-1 to one chip advantage and on... Suited King Jack, Daniel raises to 1600 here. Suited King this Deuce for Evelyn right. Ng. <laughs> and she moves all in. Sorry. Okay. And Evelyn's got bad timing again. She's in bad shape in this hand. She's going to need some clubs or a deuce to survive. Okay. You got a king? <laughs> all right. You need a little deuce. Need a little deuce. Daniel's a big boy. Here and has Evelyn need a deuce. After Evelyn jumped what clubs? Out, You're not mad I'm not rooting for a deuce, are you? I really just, I don't want to play with you anymore. I'm sick of this. I hate playing with you. I hate playing with you too. Okay. Oh. If I lose this pot, I might pull a Phil. <laughs> Phil? What Jack. Phil's he Where talking is? about? I don't know. Spades. Phil Mickelson? Uh, Phil Jackson? No. Maybe Phil Silvers? <laughs> <laughs> Evelyn's in worse shape now. Daniel's got a couple of spades there. So deuce of spades won't do her any good. She's 
dead to the two red deuces. She needs a deuce of hearts or a deuce of diamonds on one of the next two cards. Two. two. I never call for cards. <laughs> or two clubs. Turns of four diamonds. A couple more outs for Evelyn now. Yes, that gives her an open and straight draw. She could also win now with an ace or a six, as long as it's not the ace or six of spades. Evelyn needs to catch a card on the river to avoid elimination. It's a five of hearts. Daniel Negrano will advance in the tournament, eliminating Evelyn Ng. <laughs> All right, thanks. All right, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Phew. Okay, toughest match is out of the way. Now I got the softies. All you guys. Yum yum. <laughs>